Hi, my name's Alina Scott. My team went to Swaziland this summer. We did VBSs in Manzini and then we moved to Stakey where we did um, just general work with students from SANU, which is South African Nazarene University. For the most part, I was excited about the trip my entire life. I've seen missions teams, I've experienced them. I was the child in the third world country that they were trying to reach. And so I thought going into it that I was set, that I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew what not to do, what to do, um, how to relate to the people there. And I was totally wrong. I was blown away um, by how little I actually knew about mission trips and mission teams and all the planning that goes into it um, and all the prayer that goes into it as well. The most life-changing experience for me was going into the homes of several people in Manzini and Stakey. We got to spend time with Mary and Evelyn, the leaders of the HIV AIDS task force there in Swaziland, and we just went house to house visiting people with HIV and AIDS. Um, tuberculosis and a bunch of other things and we just got to pray with them, sing with them, and give them a small little gift. It wasn't all beautiful but it was life-changing. I couldn't wrap my mind around the fact that we were giving hope to the people that we came in contact with. It felt like the situations um, that we walked into were so sad and depressing that we would never in a thousand years be able to make the people smile or be happy even for a minute. On our first day with the HIV AIDS task force, we went to a home in Manzini where the woman, the mother of the home, had herpes on her face and had HIV AIDS. She didn't look healthy at all. We didn't know how to react. We let the translators talk to her. We sang a song. We prayed, and then we gave her a bag of just regular groceries um, to us. Probably not worth that much, but then we just waited around. The translators were talking to her a little bit more, and we were all blown away when we heard her laugh. It was the first time we'd seen a smile on her face since coming into the house. As we were walking out of the house, um, one of the translators looked at us and said, that what the woman laughed about was the fact that she would rather die and she, she thought that she would be happier dying than going on living the life she was living and we just couldn't understand like we couldn't process how things could be that bad it broke our hearts the ladies and men that work at the HIV AIDS task force are superheroes. They walk themselves without cars from home to home in their communities and serve and love on people. They go and they check up on them, they get to know them, they pray with them, and it's incredible. I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen such servanthood and such willingness to serve people that you don't really know. I would go back to Swaziland in a heartbeat. To me, it's impossible to walk away from a situation like that and not be changed and not want to go back and not want to go back to the people because going to Swaziland was more than just serving. It was getting to know people that I would not have had a chance to get to know any other way um, and building friendships that I hope can last a lifetime. When I first returned from Swaziland, I really didn't know how to process everything that I'd seen. I planned on just going back to the way everything was before, but my life was changed forever. I looked at people differently, I appreciated things differently, um, and now that I'm back at SNU and I'm an RA, I get to appreciate the girls in my hall differently than I had planned to before I went on this trip. I would encourage anyone who's considering or not considering short-term missions abroad to do it. It changed my life and I was probably one of the most prideful people going into it. Um, I was blown away how God could use someone like me who didn't really think that they would learn anything from the experience, but it was incredible. And especially in Swaziland, 
God, the Nazarene Church, and SNU are all doing such a great thing over there.